Chelsea Manning was responsible for one of the largest leaks of government secrets in American history. Born Bradley Manning, it was while serving in Iraq that the low-ranking private hacked government databases, handing more than 700,000 classified documents to Julian Assange's WikiLeaks organization. It included this classified video showing U.S. forces machine gun Iraqi civilians who they mistook for insurgents. Clear. Come on. And also a quarter of a million diplomatic cables from across the globe and nearly half a million military records, which detailed American military tactics and revealed the names of Afghan informants. But the main outcome was that it caused huge embarrassment to U.S. diplomats by making public their private thoughts. It was uh, a, a very uh, unfortunate and damaging uh, uh, actions that action that were taken uh, that uh, put at risk um, individuals and relationships. Manning's supporters said she was a whistleblower, not a traitor. But Bradley Manning was sentenced to 35 years in prison. During the court-martial, Manning's lawyers said their client struggled with gender identity disorder. Shortly after the trial, Bradley announced she'd be known as Chelsea and live as a woman. She's been held at a male prison in Kansas and successfully lobbied the US Army for hormone therapy. She also tried to take her life on two occasions. The campaign for Chelsea Manning's pardon began the day she was convicted in 2013. Now President Obama has made it one of his final acts in office, a decision that will please as much as it will anger. Regini Vaidyanathan, BBC News, Washington.